Welcome to this helpful video, which will explain how to successfully install a powered access walk-in bath. This video offers an overview of the installation of our walk-in baths. It should be used in conjunction with the detailed written instructions provided. Firstly, ensure that the floor where the bath is being installed is level and solid. It is not acceptable to use a rough finished floor screed or have exposed joists. A solid floor ensures a good installation with no issues and more importantly, a watertight installation. Check the walls where the bath is being installed are square using a square rule. Reduced angles can cause the bath to become pinched and compress the bath sides, resulting in problems on installation and use. Pipework should be run into place with isolators. The hot feed must be fed through a TMV or thermostatic tap to ensure safety for the bather. The TMV should be accessible for maintenance and adjustment once the bath is in place. Unpack your bath carefully and inspect. Carefully look for signs of damage, especially on the outer corners and on the lower lip of the door flange. It is important to also inspect panels at this stage so that any issues can be dealt with promptly. Check your delivery against the parts list and delivery note. Also, check the bath legs are not bent or damaged and that the retaining nuts are in place. When moving the bath, we recommend that the door and seat are first removed. The door can be removed by simply lifting it off as shown. Do not unscrew the hinges. To remove the seat, Plug in the handset and use the battery power to power the seat halfway up to allow easy removal by pressing in the two chrome buttons on the back of the seat. Remove the bath from the transport board, but keep the four slotted foot brackets as they are required for use later. Should the bath require drilling for taps, do this now. We recommend using masking tape to allow the tap position to be marked correctly and for neat drill holes. The tap should be fitted as per the manufacturer's instructions. If you are using a TMV, then make sure it is connected to the hot feed to the tap. Also fit the waste and overflow now. There is a choice of waste options that can be used. We are showing a clicker waste system here, which offers a neat finish and is simple to operate. The bath should only be carried by the metalwork frame or the flange around the side of the bath. An electric feed should be provided to the bath area via a remotely placed RCCD and an unswitched spur fuse outside the bathroom. This work must be carried out by a qualified person. Should there be accessories such as a spa, these should be fed via a separate spur fuse so that in the event of failure, power to the bath remains uninterrupted. Place the bath into position and adjust the feet as required. Ensure that the bath is level. This is important to ensure water does not pool or run off the bathroom onto the floor. To ensure the bath is firmly fixed to the floor, offer the slotted foot brackets to the front feet at either end of the bath. Once in place, screw them to the floor. Use the upper retaining nuts on the bath feet to fix against the slotted foot brackets to lock the bath to the floor and prevent the bath from moving. Once all pipework and electrics are connected, refit the door and seat. If your bath was ordered with a fabric seat, now is the time to fit this, as shown here. Fill the bath with water and check for leaks. Every bath is water tested before dispatch. Provided the bath has been installed correctly, there should be no issues. Seal the bath to the wall using a high modulus antifungal silicon sealant. Applying the sealant when the bath is full of water ensures a better seal as the sealant cannot become stretched. With the bath still full, offer the panels up and mark the wall and floor for wood battens. The batten should be placed 8mm inside the vertical edge of the bath flange for a neat finish. These will allow the panels to have a firm fitting.
The front door panel should be offered to the side closest to the door area first. The panel is designed to fit tightly around the door aperture, so firm pressure is required to push it into place, ensuring it engages with the panel clips. Once the front panel has been fitted, repeat the process for the end panel by fitting wood support buttons for support on the wall and floor. Offer the panel up and secure it into place by firmly pressing into place at the top so that it engages with the panel clips. Use cosmetic screws and cap covers to fix the panels to the battens. The installation of the powered access walk-in bath is now complete. We do hope this video has been useful and thank you for watching.